Hi, this is John Morgan with the latest video tip for 2020 design. A lot of times when people are new to the system, they start to work and they see a box. They said, okay, I'm done with information. So they click on the X and the box is gone. And then at some point, somebody closes out of the drag and drop box and it's gone. You can add these boxes back in very simply. You will go to the view button at the top of the screen and see over here where it says drag drop. If I click on it, the drag and drop menu appeared again. I also turned off the information box. If I click on information, it comes back again. Now, part two, sometimes you have done this. If I have moved these boxes and I turn my computer off, they do not go back to their original setting. If I take this box and I drag it to the left, see the little button over here with the arrow that points to the left? You notice when I put my cursor on top of it, it actually gives me a little blue shadow to show me where the box will appear. If I let it go, it snapped into place. Now watch. If I take the drag and drop box over here, you'll see in the center that you have a little, again, blue boxes here. And if you put your cursor on top of each one, it will show you or give you a preview of where that will go. I like the drag and drop box at the bottom. So I'm going to point to the little box down here at the bottom where it's going to show blue. It will snap into place. I can take the placement tool over, and I want that one to be below information. So we'll go ahead and we'll drop that in. So it's all about aligning with those little ghost squares that appear on the left-hand side of your screen. If you do that, they will snap back into place. Make sure you are using the most up-to-date 2020 because little things like that are so much easier in the most recent versions.